Hi, Dolly friends. So welcome back to Riri's Nursery. So today we're going to do a change in chat. Um, uh, but first of all, happy Saturday, everyone. So I wanted to do the um, t um, Mel's hashtag, which is uh, Silicone Saturday. Uh, and I wanted to bring on my little Gabriel. He is a beautiful full body silicone that I had um, adopted from Miss Serenity Smith. She created this beauty and he is the little sleeping prince in my nursery. One of the princes I have. Um, he's a beautiful full body silicone. And so today I wanted to change him and do it. And this isn't my first time really showcasing him uh, outside of his box opening and some other things. So I wanted to do that. And what I was gonna put on him today uh, was this little Winnie the Pooh outfit. Uh, the weather has warmed up. So right now my kids are outside with their big sister, my oldest playing in the yard so I have some time to shoot a video. <laughs> um, so the Pooh outfit, it's a mint green outfit with Winnie the Pooh on the front. And then it says hello up there. He's looking up at the bees as they're buzzing around. And then the shirt has Winnie the Pooh all over it. He's just in different poses looking at the bees. White backdrop with the yellow um, uh, color pattern around the neck line. So this is what I'll put on little Gabriel. And then today I also wanted to do, uh, so this will be Silicone Saturday. We've got Jay's hashtag new clothes. So this is the new outfit for him. I really love that uh, hashtag from Jay because it can be used anytime and always. Um, but what I also wanted to do today was to do two shout outs. And then I wanted to answer some questions from Yarlina's Reborn Nursery. So I have been really busy. So I wanted to see what I could get done today as far as videos, just cause I haven't been on doing a change in chat in a while. Um, and all that time, I'll do it. I will be changing Mr. Gabriel. So, um, so Yara Lee had actually did some videos and um, she had uh, asked some questions in a series of videos that I really liked those questions. And there were four questions in the videos that she had shot. Uh, the first one was, are you always busy? Uh, the second one was, why not adopt a real child? The third was, what medium is your favorite, silicone or vinyl? And then the recent one that she did was, has your collecting style changed? So we'll start with the first one. So are you always busy? <laughs> um, and that's what it has felt like. Um, that's why I haven't been able to post a lot of videos um, because I just, I, I am so busy with work and with my kids. It's the beginning of the year, so there's a lot going on when it comes to work in your first quarter, um, there's always a lot going on. And then with my kiddos, coming off, it seems like off a of winter break, it was just nonstop back to school and everything. And also I had my surgery in November, which it seems like it felt like it took me almost three months to feel better. Um, not that I had pain, but it was just, a, it was just uncomfortable because of, um, I feel, I still have like this, I don't know, I feel something in my throat. It's the hard thing, it's hard to explain, but it's as if I feel something in my throat. And so I don't know what that is. I have made another appointment to go see my ENT. And hopefully, you know, hopefully it's nothing. And they, I was told when I went in for my, my, you know, my checkup after my surgery that it does take a little longer when you're older to heal. Um, I am 47, so maybe that's the reason that it just took a little longer for me to heal. Uh, but no real pain. I have to say that I, I, I anticipated so much pain from getting my tonsils out. And the pain was really not the biggest issue. The biggest issue for me was swelling. I had the craziest swelling to where the first day of the surgery, I felt like, oh, this is nothing. Um, and then I woke up that next day and I thought I couldn't even swallow spit. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I had a hurry. Thankfully, my doctor was great. He kept in touch with me like through text messages. And I let him know quickly that there was something wrong and that I could not swallow. Um, and he, or, he sent in a prescription for steroids. And that got me right real quick to where it helped with the swelling. Um, and I was able to, to at least keep liquids. I could do liquids. Um, it took me about a month before I could truly eat any solid, solid foods. And then I, it wasn't until, so my surgery was in November. It wasn't until maybe January when I was able to try a, a true sandwich. Um, I, I have TMJ. So this also triggered that and my jaw locked on me. So I had to deal with that. So needless to say, it's been a lot going on. And so, and what I liked about Yarlisa's question about, are you always busy? What do you make priority for? So obviously my priority is gonna be my healing 
and my family. I've got to take care of my family. And I still interacted with my little, my little ones, but it wasn't, of course, making videos. It was just the way I, you know, the way I do with my collection is just making sure that I dust them because some of them are shelf babies. Some of them I have them sitting out and then others are securely wrapped up with either some plastic wrap on their head um, or the satin um, cloths that I have, the satin patches. And I just check on them and make sure that everyone's good. And then if I want to change them, it's so hard to do a changing because when I put them in something that's so pretty, I don't want to take it, take them out. Like this outfit I had Gabriel in is so cute. I had got it from target.com and it's got the elephants on it with the little, um, this little, these little vines that are going throughout the navy blue and cream. It's so pretty. So I didn't want to change him out of that. And that's my struggle when it comes to changing babies. Um, let me get something for his hands or my, yeah, I'll go ahead and put his mittens back on for right now because it's a short sleeve shirt. So it's no big deal. But before I do that, you know, one thing I do let me, because his, his details are so beautiful. He's got a beautiful weight to him, but look at this beauty. Look at that face. And then look at these hands. I know I'm going to have to do something to show like some of the details, but I'll, I'll figure that out. But he is, oh my God, this is, I just feel like I have a real baby in my house right now with this one. Um, with with some, the silicones that I have right now, that's what I feel like. Because um, right now I have my two full body silicones. So I have him and Finn. And just having them makes me feel like I have two real babies in the house, you know. Um, I guess I'll keep this bodysuit on him because um, I think this will be fine. Because I like to keep, with my silicones, I like to keep a bodysuit on to protect all, you know, their bodies. And not change anything there so yes I'm um, going back to that first one I am always busy right now it feels it seems like but it seems to be getting better as far as the work-life balance we're in March going into April soon and I just feel like I'm kind of getting getting into this new year um, but like I said I'll be going back in to see what's going on with my throat and uh, next month now her next one is there was a question that was posed and so she answered it which is why not adopt a real child so I guess the misconception, and I can't say I guess, I know that the misconception for some is that all of us who do collect reborns or silicones are feeling a void, um, that we're infertile or that we're going through a loss or we have depression. And that's not the case for, and for me. So I collect reborns and silicones because I like dolls. Um, I've always loved dolls since I was a little kid. I had a, a and I, that's why I say Riri's Nursery and not anything specific because I collect uh, Barbie dolls, I collect baby dolls, I have stuffed animals, I like dolls. That's always been. And I've always wanted, um, for many years, I've wanted to get into collecting reborns. I just never had the opportunity until COVID, like a lot of us. And so I don't do this to fill a void. I just truly enjoy having dolls. Um, I don't play with them like I did when I was a kid. Uh, but to me, they're like you do with any piece of art. You know, with, with artwork, you hang it on the wall. With these dolls, you set them up in a nursery and you have use your imagination of, oh, this is what I would do with a baby or how I would pose it or how the baby would look. And, and I loved the baby face. So that's what's fun about this too, is that I get to have a forever baby <laughs> that I, I love that phase of dressing them up, finding clothes for them. Um, I have to say in the hobby, sh uh, shopping um, for clothes is not my favorite thing. I don't, that's not something I always seek to do. Um, but I do enjoy finding cute little pieces for my babies and putting that on them. Um, and also, uh, I had, uh, I had three biological children and I did adopt four more children, uh, because when my, when I wanted to, my husband and I became foster parents and we had did it to, you know, to support our community, to support, support children that were in need. And we didn't mind adding to our family. You know, we had our four. So we're thinking, oh, you know, if one more stage, you never know. Because we were warned, you know, when we started that, you know, it's highly unlikely that one stays. And if it does, it's going to take years. So we started that process uh, of, you know, becoming foster parents, went through the classes. And within a matter of weeks of being, not even that long, I want to say maybe a week <laughs> of being certified, we got our first phone call for a babe who stayed with us for about six days. And oh my gosh, he t he stole our hearts. We loved him and then he went to family. And that was so heart-wrenching, but we stuck with it because we really, 
we said we wanted to be here to help. And so we um, had our next baby that came and she stayed. I got to get her from the hospital. I was really happy about that. Uh, so out of my four children, two I was able to get as newborns from the hospital. Then my boys, uh, one came at eight months and the other came at two years old. And they all have varying degrees of um, special needs, uh, but that just makes them even more special. And in my time in foster care, you know, I dealt with children from, uh, a lot of different children from hard places. Um, some that were, had some injuries, some that had mental injuries. And it's really heart wrenching when you see that these, you know, these poor babies of what they go through. But thankfully I was able to, we were able to tough it out. And in the end we were blessed with four little ones. So I have a total of seven children. And so I don't, need this is not that there's no need to be filled <laughs> i just enjoy this because this one doesn't poop he need me to be up at three in the morning with it no i can set it and forget it <laughs> so her next question was what medium is your favorite before i answer that let me see if i can grab him a different pair of socks give me just a second all right i was able to get him a pair of socks and i added i got him these little winnie the pooh mitts i had got these from erica's uh nursery uh, she sells some of her um, her clothes, um, and so I, let me shout out Erica. Erica, I'm gonna tag her below, but Erica has some beautiful clothes. So Erica, thank you for sharing the love with your with your collection when you you know your collection of clothes because I have gotten some pieces from her to where she almost you know for a second she was replacing Tarjay. <laughs> but um, oh my goodness, these little feet are so cute. Let me show you. See if I can get close enough for you guys. I don't want to take the camera off, but just look at these little toes. Look at these little feetsies. <laughs> Serenity did an amazing job on him. He is a beauty. Um, but so I, with the next question was, what medium is your favorite, silicone or vinyl? I can't say that one. Now, by far for like realism and then touching, silicone is is amazing, but. I still like my vinyl. I still like both because uh, my recent babe that just came, which is my uh, Leonidas that I introduced everyone to, his vinyl, I don't know what finish was used on him, but it feels like skin. It feels like I'm touching silicone, even though it's vinyl. So that's amazing. So that's, it's really like one or the, I can't say one or the other would be, um, you know, better than the other. <laughs> Because in the end, if I had to choose, I'd probably have like maybe one or each one of each in my collection. If I had to dwindle it down to your top two or your top five or ten, I'd have it would come down to one of those. So let's get his socks on. There we go. He's so cute with his little look at this little boy with his Winnie the Pooh. Isn't he so precious? Hair. I've got to brush this hair, but I'm gonna spray it down in just a bit. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I can't say one or the other. There, there's pros and cons for both, and I know people talk about like the upkeep, you know, of powdering and making sure that your silicone is taken care of. I have to say the reason why I'm good with saying either one is that I have made some great connections, thankfully, in the this community of silicone artists that I know that if I needed them, they would help me. Um, or even artists who do vinyl. So I don't have that same concerns as I had in the beginning. So that would make it where I love both. And whatever I can get for both, I will. Let me get his, do his hair. Now the last question was, has your collecting style changed? I would say a little bit. Um, in the beginning, I was really, I, if I did a custom, I was just like, oh, I always want red hair. Red hair and if it's open eyes, I want green. And then in the beginning, I didn't care. I just wanted to try because I've, I've only been in this going on two years um, of collecting reborns. And so I was just like, oh, I just want to see what's out there. I just want to see what's out there. Well, now that I've been going for a while and I, I'm i a part of Serenity Smith's little, um, gr uh, her little group that um, she has, her membership. And I, I, and I thoroughly enjoy her membership because we have great chats. She... Um, she comes up with some great topics and I just learn a lot. And so, and that's what I, one thing I've loved that by following a lot of people's videos and, you know, we learn from each other. I've learned from 
Shelby. I've learned from Kelly Girl. I've learned from Yarlina's, um, Alicia uh, Johnson. I've learned from them. Um, I've just learned from these these channels because these are artists. Um, they're collectors, but they're also artists. So I learn a lot from. I'm um, not all of them. Some of them are collectors only, but they're you know like Serenity, um, Yarlina, Alicia. Those are artists that I'm close with. Uh, I learn from them. Yulia, who had did my uh, Sebastian and also my, my uh, uh, what was that doll? The doll was, uh, I can't think of her name right now, uh, my other silicone. She's also great. I talked to her um, and she is very helpful when I, if I have questions or if I need her for anything. So there are artists that I have befriended that are willing to answer questions if I have them and work with me for any, you know, for anything, if I have any questions. And I love that. I mean, that's the connections you are, you know, I love about this. I'm not trying to make best friends because, you know, we're all busy and we don't see each other in person, but it's good to have good friends. And that's what I feel about this. Um, also, um, I want to shout out uh, Lynn at My Bella Blessing because Lynn, I had won her giveaway, but before that she had shouted me out and Lynn has the perfect name of her nursery blessing because she has the ability to just put a smile on your face. And when I was going through my surgery, she was one of the channels I looked for <laughs> to kind of keep me going. Um, and then Anne, I would, you know, I'm gonna tag this. So Anne, uh, she's another one that she just gave me a blessing of shouting me out. And man, thank you, Anne. I really appreciate it. Um, that That's just very loving to, to do that. And so thank you. Um, but, you know, along with, the collection changes. Um, I, it's also what I thought I wouldn't do. You know, I didn't think I'd have as large a collection as I have now. And now I can't think of who I would let go. Um, I'm not at that place where I'm saying, oh, I'm going to let anybody go. Um, obviously, I have to sell uh, to bring more in, but I'm so content that it's hard to say who do I choose to let go. Um, but I'm grateful that I'm in a position that it, I'm not in a rush. I can still buy if I need it, if I, there's something I really want. But I would rather, because I'm limited on space, I've got to let things go. Um, also, I still love red hair, but as you can see, I I love beautiful dolls. So I I really started to be mindful of the dolls that I collected. So through good friendships like Yarlina's, I have learned what to look for in a doll. Looking at the sculpting, looking at how the movements go, um, that has been a great education for me this last year. And we have a little group of friends that we get together and we talk virtually, but we talk almost every day. And so we talk about dolls that we like. Um, we talk about what gets us going every day. We get, send out blessings and love to each other. So that makes the hobby fun when you have that good core group of friends that gets you keep you motivated. Um, my collecting style has changed because I never was one for shopping, but now people like Shelby, who would love to put up some pretty things, um, I would look at her, her her little nursery and I was like, man, I would love to go shopping in your nursery, like Erica's. Like, they have, it's that, that sense of style that I love. Um, and so I have become mindful even of that, of, oh, if I'm going to buy something, then I want to, you know, what I'm, I'm more mindful of what I buy uh, and pieces because I have clothes I just don't utilize them all because I don't change my dolls that much um, I will do a change and I have enough babies to do changes at different days but once I get them in the outfit like he's in this right now I don't want to change him for the foreseeable future because he's so cute in this little outfit I'm gonna put this right here on the side um and so you know that's that's just where my collecting style has changed to is that I'm just I'm more mindful and I'm more intentional of what I bring in because I want to enjoy my collection. Even if I, because I enjoy looking, I really do just stare at my collection. So I enjoy being able to look at my pieces and love them. This is art. This is beautiful art for me. And I want to keep my art up. I, I value it. Oh, I didn't spray the back of the hair. And so I try my best to maintain my art pieces and and it's not just about how much they cost it's truly of what when I look at him I can see the love that was brought put into him and that's what I love with my dolls they become you, you're, you're they'll become priceless when you can tell what somebody put into it and really made it their own 
Um, and uh, another thing uh, with the collecting style is I can live vicariously through other people. So I look by following other people's videos, I can see what I like about, you know, another doll. And I don't have to have it in my collection because they have it. And I can look at them and look at what they do. So, you know, that's where it becomes really nice uh, with, with this. And again, change of collection. I didn't think I'd get silicone. So now I have it and I love it. I'm not afraid to touch them. I'm not afraid to handle them. I truly, truly enjoy my silicones. So yeah, so that's where some of that style has changed up. Um, so Mr. Gabriel, that was that. So I hope I answered those questions uh, to your liking, our least. Um, but little Mr. Gabriel is dressed. He is looking scrumptious and so beautiful. Let's get him closer. And I hope everyone is having a good Saturday. Again, this is Mel's tag with the silicone. Oh, and we're doing Play Day Saturday for oh, for, for Miss Lovely Patricia. I love her. She's, that's one person I wish I could meet in person. Um, so Play Day Saturday, he is looking like he can play. And his, it's silicone for Miss Lovely Mel. So I'm gonna have a lot of tags. <laughs> This is gonna be, uh, this is a, a, a smorgasbord. <laughs> but um, I love that I have something to talk about with you guys because I don't, I'm not good at extemporaneous speech um, unless it's really, really something that I am knowledgeable about, passionate about, and I wanna talk about. Um, it's kind of hard for me to just talk. I don't have that gift of gab. I have the ability to, to speak for a long time, but sometimes it can go off in the left field. <laughs> But um, I'm doing my best to get better because I do enjoy making these videos and seeing everyone. Um, but I uh, hope everyone's having a good weekend, a good Saturday. And so from me and Gabriel, you guys, I hope you're having a good weekend. I will try to pop in again so we can hopefully see you guys on Sunday. And I hope you have a good one. So bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.